guys it's Kay of course welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a lookbook from the Janet collection y'all they came out with some bomb 13 by 6 wigs this is one of them out of five wigs this one is going to be the first one that I want to share with you guys only because I've been wearing this wig y'all this I can't say that this is my favorite wig because I haven't worn the other one so I don't really know how they look on me trust me when i say you're going to want to get your hands on this wig so let me just show y'all the stock card and everything like i said this is from the janet collection this is their melt 13 by 6 frontal part wig i have her in a style linen and she's in a color one and I will say that this wig is on the silky side. It's not like overly silky. It's definitely in the middle of like yakky and silky, but more leaning towards silky, but not really. I don't know. But y'all, just the length, like I was saying, the length, the curls, the way it's layered, everything. This is a perfect everyday wig. You can dress it up, dress it down. I'm really really in love with this wig and I would totally recommend this wig you guys so links to all of these wigs that I'm about to show you will be in my description box but this is one to look out for because she is just given everything that you would ever need out of a wig it's given now she does shed um she sheds I wouldn't say she sheds crazy but she definitely sheds and I've worn this wig I think three or four times in total the first the very first time i wore this wig i slept in it so don't sleep in it because i feel like it will last you much longer if you just don't sleep in your wig although i think that the wig still looks great but i had to like detangle it because it was so tangly when i woke up but the tangles did come out and the curls are still intact but you can like tell like the more you brush it you can definitely tell that the texture of the wig starts to change and it gets like all frazzled or whatever at the ends but overall i think that this is such a nice wig i feel like this is a wig that you would have to have a multiple of just because you're going to like it that much i promise you you're going to love this wig. This is her up close. Like I said, I already wore her. I did cut some baby hair. I think this wig does come with baby hair, but I cut a little bit more. This was like laid, but I'm just putting this wig on so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, this is what the hairline looks like. I didn't pluck the hairline. I left it how it was. I All right, so the next wig I want to share with you guys is Mabel. And Mabel is like a body wave type of style or texture. And I have her in a OET1B velvet purple. Now, I don't know how this red top is going to reflect with these colors. Here is Mabel straight out of its packaging. All the construction for these wigs are the exact same i don't know how the fit will be i'll let y'all know but i'm not going to be like showing y'all the construction so i'll just show you guys the construction for this wig as you can see i don't know if the lace is the same on all of them i think the lace on here was a tad bit darker it might have been this light actually i think it was this light but this is what the construction looks like it has two combs in the front a comb in the back with the adjustable straps and it also comes with an elastic band that's sewn into the wig it is a bit on the shiny side this is what the hairline looks like and it does come with these baby hairs which is crazy but we about to see how this wig fits <laughs> Alright guys, so here are my end results for Mabel. And again, I have Mabel in a color OET1B Velvet Purple. And this is what she looks like. As far as the fit on this, I do feel like if you have a bigger size head, you'll definitely be able to get into this wig. 
it's very stretchy like the cap is definitely stretchy now if you have a smaller size head like myself just go ahead and adjust your strap and i feel like you'll be good to go now i'm going to go ahead and turn around so you guys can see what the wig looks like in the back and, and as you can see the dark roots are only where the lace is so be careful on how you style this because you'll definitely be able to see in the back that it doesn't have any dark roots so the next wig is polina polina i think that's how you pronounce it and i have her in a color butterscotch and this one is more of a straight wig and that's what she looks like and i'm so excited to try her i think that i'm actually going to go back and get a color too just because every wig that i got i think that it would look so good in a color number two but yeah, the first wig that I showed you is still my favorite. So I definitely like the first one versus this one. This is what she looks like straight out of the packaging. This was a pretty easy and simple wig to style. This one does shed just like the others. And as far as tangling, I didn't really receive that much tangling from this wig. As you can see, the lace is still light. I didn't pluck it or anything. Um, but you'll have to be careful because with the dark rooted wigs, it's only dark root within the lace base. So be very careful on how you style this wig. So the next wig is Oasis and I have her in a color two. So let's see what's up with her. She's a short, curly looking bulb, which I feel like she's gonna be nice. And again, when I style these wigs off camera, I'm making sure I don't pluck the hairline. I'm making sure I don't do anything crazy to the wig just because I'm not showing you guys what I'm doing on camera. And I want you to see that it's possible to style these wigs straight out of the packaging without doing too much. So the only thing that I did was add um, concealer into the part. Now this lace was a little, it was a little more difficult to blend. I feel like when I tilt my head a certain way, like you can kind of see a cast, but. Right here, I spoke too soon. This one is definitely a thick one. Um, not one of my favorites at all, you guys. And I did go in and cut her. I had to like layer the front of it just to give it some shape. She's cute, but um, I don't know. It might be like the length for me. I wish it was just a tad bit longer. But for those of you who are into styles like this one, this wig would be perfect. So this is the last wig I want to share with you guys and her name is Nora. I have it in the color M Balayage 30. So this is what she looks like. All right, y'all. So this is what Nora is looking like and Nora is my second favorite. I definitely want to get this in a color too, but the curls and everything lay very nice and no matter how you put the wig in the center or off to the side, it still falls so beautifully, you guys. Really, really love her. She does shed and she does um, tangle a little bit on the end part. But besides that, she is a very gorgeous wig. Overall, linen would have to be my favorite wig. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video.